I think history will repeat and it will be a bubble cycle, mm. much like the internet. Out of that, out of the phoenix rises, out of the ashes rises the phoenix. I'm just with the the David Bowie quote about the internet back in 97, yes. I think it was, where he said, Jeremy Paxman was interviewing him and he said, what well, is more than just whatever it was. And he said, it's an alien life form. And he was so right. The disruption that is coming on the back of this is much more profound than yet we understand. Mm. How? I don't know. Mm. None of us know. Now, guess who keeps his eye on us? The author of best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And we want to take this opportunity and thank all the people who trusted us. And we read every comment. And the best part, it's free. Subscribing now means you will get all new information for free. Don't just follow the trends, stay ahead of them. Subscribe to Bitcoin Zella today and enjoy the new edge. In today's video, Raul Powell explores the economic implications of AI. How AI is revolutionizing the economy, transforming data into valuable assets, the societal impacts of AI advancements, challenges and opportunities in AI development, future predictions for AI and its broader implications. We, because, you know, Benedict was talking about software. Yep. This is software that lives. Mm. Again, people can't get their head around what is, what is software that lives on its own, that can what learn- What do you mean by this software lives? Well, it adapts, it can adapt, it can learn, it can grow, it can change mm. form, knowledge, understanding, as humans do. Mm. So that's living software. We're not used to that. We're used to code. Mm -hmm. This is not code. So much so that Anthropic have to create a sort of MRI machine to try and understand how the network or how the LLM actually works. Mm. Nobody knows. So. I think the history of humanity is a history of the application of technology. This is just part of that. Mm -hmm. It's my view, and it has been for a while, that the inevitable outcome of the evolution of mankind is AGI. It has to be. Um, and don't forget, we just started life as DNA and RNA that turned up somehow in in whatever bacteria arrived on earth and how that happened, we don't even really know. Mm -hmm. And that's just code. And that code is replicated and split and split and split and it ends up with AGI. Is this part of evolution of humanity? I don't know. What is AGI? I think it's irrelevant. It's like I wrote an article about consciousness mm -hmm. because people are debating, are these LLMs conscious? Nobody knows what consciousness is. Mm -hmm. So we don't even know any of these things. So we just have to accept it's something. It's something, it feels like part of evolution. And we just have to observe it. Now, to your point, it's not today. Although I think they're more sentient and conscious than we yet believe. Um, and I've seen a lot of work that's happening in that, just even randomly. And again, we can't define consciousness, we can't define sentience, mm -hmm. but there's something there. But it, but today it's not that. What will it be tomorrow? What will it be in a year's time? What will it be in five years' time? Mm. I don't see a plateauing of that yet. The cryptocurrency market is up today, with the total market capitalization rising by approximately 0.8% in the last 24 hours to reach $2.28 trillion on June 27. That includes gains from top-ranking coins Bitcoin and Ethereum, which have risen around 0.5% and 2.6% on the same day. Major catalysts driving the crypto market upward today include the ongoing inflows into the U.S. spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds and a strengthening market structure. The crypto market's ongoing gains align with the resumption of inflows into the U.S.-based spot Bitcoin ETF. As of June 26, these funds were managing around $52.61 billion worth of BTC, up from $47 billion at the beginning of May. Data from Farside Investors reveals that after seven days of back-to-back -back outflows from these investment products, the spot Bitcoin ETF capital flows turned positive over the past two days, recording net inflows of $31 million 
and $21.3 million on June 25 and June 26, respectively. Meanwhile, Vanek, one of the first issuers of spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States, has filed for a new Solana ETF. Vanek, which also filed the first Ethereum ETF in 2021, may signal a broader trend as the recent approval of spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF potentially paves the way for more crypto ETF in the U.S. This development highlights the growing acceptance and adoption of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in the traditional financial sector, helping the crypto market's valuation rise today. Markets open to improving sentiment after the USQ, one gross domestic product, GDP, came in slightly higher than expected at 1.4%. According to a report released by the Bureau of Economic Analysis on June 27, this is the slowest quarterly growth since spring 2022. In the fourth quarter of 2023, real GDP increased 3.4%. The U.S. Commerce Department had previously estimated that the GDP, the economy's total output of goods and services, would increase at a rate of 1.3% between January and March. At the same time, consumer spending decelerated more than anticipated, and the focus remains on the possibility of the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates to tame inflation. The U.S. economy has proved resilient in the face of higher interest rates. The Federal Reserve raised its benchmark rate 11 times in 2022 and 2023 to a 23-year high to try to tame the worst levels of inflation in 40 years. Most economists who had predicted approximately four interest cuts in 2024 are no longer fully pricing in an interest rate cut earlier than September. The latest data from CME Group's FedWatch tool show just a 10.3% chance of a cut at the Federal Open Market Committee's FOMC next meeting on July 31. So as we move into an agentic-based world, so that's multiple AI agents, all of those have a cost. So even if they can be autonomous, they have a cost, which is compute. Mm. Last time I checked, AI can't get a driving license and therefore can't get a bank account. Mm. Right? So it's a real problem. So they're going to have to pay each other for compute. Blockchain Rails is a pretty decent way of solving that. The other, I think, more pressing one will happen quite quickly um, over the U.S. election, mm. which is proof of humanity. Mm -hmm. Because the problem is, is you can create such enormous fake content, fake people. Um, and again, with I'm thinking of AI as people, essentially. So... You're going to have to prove who's who. I think the tech companies are going to get fined like the banks got fined after 2008. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the cash machine for every government and they'll find them for the next decade over um, what's AI and what's human. Mm. Blockchain is, is a very, very good way of solving it, which is why Sam Altman started WorldCoin. Everyone was like, what was this weird thing with the orb? It's so awful. Sam Altman saw where this was going, which is like, the moment this happens, we've got a problem. Yeah, there's actually a magic opportunity right now between those who use the technology and those who don't. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a window. We saw it with the internet as well, where you can gain a competitive advantage. That may not be persistent, but it's, but it's definitely here now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to affect every single industry. And to the point we were talking about before, the other thing we have to remember is whatever you think it is today is not what it is. This thing learns at an exponential rate like children learn. It is only it is only a year and a half old. At a year and a half old, it already has an IQ, a measurable IQ, whatever that means, of 100 or so. Well, we don't know where this is going. You have to start now. I think Benedict made the point before, which is the problem is, is we don't know what it's going to be in three months' time. It's really difficult to build on. Mm -hmm. But so you, you don't build a business based on wrappers build your business to be a rapper. Yeah. You know, I use the technology, let OpenAI or whoever build the underlying and drive your own business. Mm. Whether you're a lawyer, whether you're in construction, whether you're in manufacturing, whether you're in the restaurant business, whether you're in anything, it will completely change your game. From a technical perspective, the crypto market's gains today are part of a rebound that started at a support confluence comprising the major support at $2.172 trillion and the middle boundary of a descending parallel channel. The total market cap, at $2.23 trillion, broke above the upper boundary of the channel during the June 27 recovery, signaling a breakout from the downtrend. As a rule of this technical formation, the crypto market could rise toward the $2.56 trillion area, 
embraced by the upper tip of the declining channel. Before achieving this, the total market cap has to overcome supplier congestion between $2.30 trillion and $2.35 trillion, where all the major EMAs lie. And do not forget to subscribe to Bitcoin Seller. The most important news will reach your inbox on a daily basis and for free. I do not know why you have not subscribed yet. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily updates. Remember, knowledge is power, and we're here to empower you on your financial journey. Until next time, happy investing!